Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve. I'm here today with Riley, Nima, Christy, Zach, and Pastor Mike. Wubba lubba dub dub! <laughs> I couldn't help myself, I had to. That's what I say now. I've been wanting to do it for a while, so. Uh. So I wasn't here last. I really enjoyed it. You guys did a good job. Cool. Thank you. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. No, it was good. You just didn't really st stick on topic, but it was still interesting. <laughs> How was your secret mission to Middle Earth? Ooh. Uh, still sound like I'm... Um, Down there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was, was kind of sick for like a week. Like, like, I've not been sick for a week since I had the chicken pox, I think. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> That's, That's a bad, long though. time. When I was like eight. It's <laughs> not bad, though. But anyway, I'm back now. Um, wanted to start off by giving a little bit more background on ISIS. You guys didn't really talk about it other than just to say that it's a CIA. Yeah. Nobody knows what it is. Yeah. It's CIA, so, nobody knows. So yeah. it, what's interesting about about the history of ISIS is that this character named Zarqawi, who was killed and then captured, <laughs> and then <laughs> captured, captured again, oh, and then killed again. Is this like the head of it, yeah. The supposed head? was was the head. Oh, okay. it was the start of it. Oh, well, gotcha, gotcha. he started an organization ninety nine in in Iraq, which then became. Uh, Al, -Qaeda. Al Qaeda in Iraq after the war, and then he officially officially died in like 2004, I think, when Baghdadi took over, and Baghdadi is uh, was also died multiple times and was captured multiple times, and he. So they're zombies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Essentially, they're, they're brought zombies. back from the dead. Cool. Or CIA operatives, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> you're saying, no, you're, but, uh, you're saying he, Al Qaeda, right? Yeah. He, he transformed it basically into the ISI. Uh, but he died for the last time in 2009 when another big Baghdadi took An over. Another Baghdadi. Finally Bagdaddy. shot him in the head this time. <laughs> <laughs> finally got the head shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another Baghdadi who's who's got a similarly weird background. Who's he Baghdaddy? was supposedly <laughs> born in Samara and was a cleric in Samara when the US invaded in 2003. Uh, taken into custody and held uh, by US forces until either 2004 or 2009. <laughs> 5 years. Ago. Uh, the official story is that he was released uh, about nine months after he was captured. Um, but the guy who ran the, the place said that he was there and specifically remembers him being there until he handed over the, the reins of the prison to Iraqi forces in 2009. Uh -huh. uh, which is coincidentally right before he took over control of ISIS. And he's the one who expanded into Syria, cr make, turning ISI into ISIS, and is now claiming to be the caliphate. Now, the history behind the caliphate is that it was the Ottoman Empire, essentially. Um, there was the last caliphate. The Ottoman Empire was the last caliphate, which was broken in, uh, in World War Two, or World War One, excuse me, uh, and there hasn't been a caliphate mm -hmm. since then, and it's basically the supposed to be the Islamic State, essentially. Right. The true Islamic State. Right. 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 Huh. So that's what ISIS is. Mm -hmm. That's the what they're claiming. Caliphate yeah, that's a, that's a pre. Yeah. yeah, that's that's the pretense that they work off of. Okay. Uh, and. In, yeah, and so just last year, or maybe it was this earlier this year, um, he he declared himself Caliph Ibrahim. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh, going way back. Yeah. <laughs> does he uh, does he get a crown out of it? Or, like, what's the, you know, I mean, there's seventy two oh, virgins. The or but um, lots of virgins. Yeah. But uh, also, but not only that kind of shady past uh, with ISIS, but there's also government reports that <clears throat> a training camp in Jordan was used to train a lot of the ISIS fighters. We supply them with weapons through the um, uh, resistance to... We did it. The it's U.S., like, yeah. sorry. No. Speak for yourself. I just wanted to, yeah. I just wanted to, <laughs> I just wanted to clarify that yeah. here. For We're people. not supplying anybody with anything. Yeah, yeah. Just so we say on camera. Well, hey, I, I, all I want to say is that I Except may or may not have made some cinnamon rolls. legally required by law. We supply beer. <laughs> like taxes. I made some cinnamon rolls for some guys and yeah. You did? Yeah, about that same time oh, I was okay. making cinnamon rolls. Some guys got some cinnamon rolls from me. You're terrorists. They look kind of aggressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and then uh, did you hear about? Uh, <laughs> you heard about uh, more witnesses coming out yeah. saying that it was three white guys that shot up San Bernardino. San Bernardino. I don't. I didn't hear that, but I do remember hearing three white guys when it first broke out. And then I never heard that again. Like it's so typical of reporting <laughs> Wait a minute, in the U.S. Can't Muslims be white guys? Be this is true. Accurate. They can't be a white. They can't With be a Muslim and his wife being right. three white guys. Yeah. Yeah. She's <laughs> that depends really on the white. <laughs> no, that's now it is. Now this Islam is. allows for a transgender. No, but there's what? a video it recently that came out <laughs> of another white witness, and the the journalist asked him, "So how did you feel when you found out that it was Saeed?" And he said, no, it wasn't Saeed. I got a phone call, I don't know from who, saying that it was Saeed. And I said, no, it's not Saeed. Saeed is a nice guy. He was, he, him and his wife are always really nice. It was three white guys. Yeah. I love it how the reporter begged the question. Yeah. Hey, so what do you do when you heard it was this? Yeah. Hmm. Trying to implant that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, you exactly. heard, right? Didn't yeah. they claim there was a, a suspect that was taken in the captivity? Like they... They killed two. They killed two suspects, and there was right. a third that they also took in. I don't. I, I don't remember I I that I, person. They let that person go, or I think I do remember hearing something I remember, about I remember there were two down and one. There was two died, and one, 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 one was. That's taken the thing custody. about those things about those little news snippets as it's breaking down or breaking out, and then the real stuff where comes you, where out. You, yeah, it's when the real or, stuff or, in some, the or sometimes it's just, it, they just let go. It's chaotic, so they're just getting whatever they. Yeah, whatever's coming in. Mm -hmm. And sometimes sometimes it's false, sometimes it's true. Yeah, so you, yes, you yes, never really know. Substantiated or not. So this is a false flag kind of a <laughs> operation. You know, I have a hard time. I, I know a lot of people believe that things like Sandy Hook were false flag attacks and things like that. I have a hard time believing that of most cases. But when you have as many people coming forward about this as we've seen so far, it kind of starts to paint a picture, you know? Yeah. I don't. I don't. I've never heard a single person say it was three white guys. I remember hearing. I remember hearing at first it was three suspects, but I don't remember hearing it was three white, three, three white guys. I remember I was listening to the radio that day, and that was the first report I heard. But then it, I never heard that repeated. Um, I think by the next day, there or so, the next couple of days, they were saying this Saeed guy, and I was listening to Pastor's perspective, and um, the guy uh, was saying that Sa Saeed had. Um, gone to one of the churches uh, for Calvary Chapel and was the guy who was, you know, in charge of giving them a, you know, a passing uh, grade or whatever on, on their facility and how the pastor from that church was saying how he was always like a really nice, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, very, very kind, very uh, courteous, no con con uh, condescending attitude or, you know, just always passed the church with flying colors and a really outstanding guy and the guy uh, I think said like you know I just can't believe that this guy would do this so I mean and then you have that one witness that you're mentioning about how no it wasn't he was a nice guy he didn't do this and so yeah just Ted Bundy was a pretty nice guy well, I mean, don't get me wrong. You, there, there can be psychopaths, I mean, yeah, good, nice good, good people. point. That should, that should be mentioned. That like, you know, it's kind of comical. But every time like there's a murder or or something like that happens, there's always like the neighbor who's like, "Ah, hey, he was a nice guy." So, he kept mostly to himself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, to himself. But um, that being said, like with, with with you know with the the whatever happened up in in San Bernardino. Uh, 
San Purdue. San Purdue. Um, How many of those? Well, I got like? that beer from. Yeah, no, no, no. The San Purdue. It's a nickname. It's San Bernardino. It cuts off a couple syllables. Anyways, but um, I like San Purdue. That's San kind of a Purdue. local thing. Um, so, what is their motivation for doing that? That's the thing that doesn't make any sense. ISIS. <laughs> yeah, but I, but that's the thing. It's just like uh, I says. So, but why is it they're like okay? So we have our coworkers that we talk to every day. Eh, Christmas party. Hey, honey, you want to just go yeah. shoot up the Christmas party yeah. today? Like that's the thing that doesn't make any sense. Like. You know, Motivation, like for like, for well, the for well, the, just the, anger. Well, be, for the witnesses that were there, like nobody said anything. They like, you know, that they walked in there and they're like, "Hey, how you doing? I don't like Muslims. Uh, good afternoon." That, like that wasn't down, anything. Yeah. That, like what happened? They just seemed like randomly these two people who everybody seemed to get along with were just like, "Yeah, let's kill everybody today." But I, I, you know? I, I was uh, right before I cruised over here. I was watching, or I was at my parents' house, and they were watching like world news. Scene, I don't know some world news crap mainstream media stuff and you know they're diving into you know oh like the new uh you know findings about you know the involvement of terrorist activities or terrorist type attitudes that uh, these two individuals uh held or you know goes deeper than you know they're just trying to unravel unpack how the, the radicalization of of particularly the wife and um how he the, the husband you know, used the marriage pretense of bringing the wife over who was radicalized, who radicalized him, and that's kind of how the new terrorism is going to be happening by people, you know, bringing in a spouse and how females can fly under the radar. Did of, they meet on the internet? I th yeah, they probably did get on onto that. I'm not that, sure I didn't hear that exactly. That's that key tool of radicalization is the internet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we got we to we gotta curve that just, internet usage. We got to ask yeah, we'll oh, we'll turn off. Within minutes, <laughs> within, within minutes, they were talking about how, uh, uh, within minutes of, of Paris, they were talking about how they used encryption. Oh, they were big into that, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, about how I, they I, Paris were using episode. encryption. I heard, they, I heard they didn't use any, any encryption. No, that's, that's what they were they, saying they, today. Right, but but they within wanted. shortly after yeah. after the attacks, everybody was saying that the, that that was the big thing. So if that you they have were using your encryption. phone encrypted, then you're using yeah, encryption. Yeah, that came out matter, quietly though. later. Right. It doesn't matter the truth. <laughs> the truth doesn't fucking matter. You know? Important question. The truth is what they say it is. That's Important right. question. We did have we did turn on the mic, right? The mic's on. Yes. Oh, yes. Did okay. We? I just right. wanted to know for sure. Did you, sh uh, did you look at it? Can Technical we know? I, I will look again. Actually. Technical <laughs> thing. Guys. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, no, it's no, red. It's all, no, red is good. Red, red is, is good. Red is good. Okay. Red is good. Red is good. Red is good. Did you turn it off? Oh, like, oh no, it's dead. It's red. <laughs> the battery is dead. It should be green. You know? okay. <laughs> Red means off. Red means stop. On that technical note, go. <laughs> what's going on here? Uh, actually, I am Al Nima, and I'm here to kidnap you guys. Al Nima. <laughs> Al Nima. I'm gonna you know what? That's your DJ name. Let's let's get <laughs> some turntables and let's get it done. Bad music, terrorism. Maybe it's because thing. ISIS is a figment of the government's uh, imagination, or you know, well, now the driving. That's why we can't stay on topic no. because it's a false <laughs> topic. It's <laughs> it's just created artificially. Wow. Or have we all been brainwashed to move to a different topic when it comes up? No, no, no. <laughs> the plot thickens. <laughs> Damn you reptilians. Oh. He's Rock, Rock, Rock Child was right. <laughs> about, about our group. <laughs> when, when did Rock Child say... Oh, oh. <laughs> That Rothschild. That Rothschild. Yeah. The Rothschild that we know. I'm like, when, when Let's did work on that. The actual, the actual Jewish When did Rothschild talk about Jewish us? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know we'd reached that, that level of fame yeah. of the, to be heard from, by the Rothschilds. Yeah, no, he, 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 he's a good guy, but apparently we're all conspiracy theorists. I don't know. You know? No, what I, I really took... I about what conspiracies. I really took... So, what yeah. I really took... Yeah. took uh, what I took offense at was him saying that we were... Um, Biggest? Uh, no, um... <laughs> I don't think he said that. I know, I'm uh, no, what's, 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 what's that, that conspiracy theory guy? Uh, J. 
Jones. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. We're all Alex Jones like. Yeah. That's what I had a problem with. Who's Let the record set for I don't like Alex Jack Jones, Rose. so it's. Oh. He's, he's, he's pretty so you're funny. You're talking about the Rothschild. Entertaining, yeah. yeah. Entertaining. Like, he thinks juice boxes turn kids gay. <laughs> That's hilarious. She yeah. thinks what does? She thinks juice boxes turn kids juice gay. Juice boxes? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I know that's where when, when I guy. started yeah. experimenting yeah. with homosexuality. Whoa! Like a conspiracy. Sucking down a. Does your wife know about this? Yeah. Okay. She's the one that <laughs> I don't know what it is about those five ounce juice boxes, but I feel different. When I sit down on them, I just I get these cravings. This is Ross Jones. Anyway, no, no, no this uh, is uh, Alex, Alex Jones. Jones. Oh. oh, Alex. Okay. So, anyways, <laughs> anyway, moving on. So, so, uh, any, first of all, anybody else have anything else to say about ISIS? Or I have a question on? about anything ISIS. intelligent or just what? Okay. What's the difference between is is and Isol. It's all the same group, uh, it's just a different. Wait a second. state of Israel it, and Syria. I mean, uh, not Israel. ISIS. Well, ISIS. Well, Iraq and Syria. Well, Iraq and Syria. Well, Iraq and Syria. Or, or Iraq and Libya. You covered or the Libya. Genesis. Libya, yeah. Levant. 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 You covered the genesis of it. Why don't you come much, here and sit down? Not necessarily the purpose, right? Now they're saying it's IS. Yeah, that's that's the kind of background of the origins, but what's the intent in the origin? I don't know. Well, were, I think they were trying to go towards geographical areas, uh-huh. like Iraq and Syria, but now it's like all over, so. Right, right. No. IS. No, okay, so IS. Or no, Daesh. Daesh. Yeah, so I think, you know, Daesh. in terms of why ISIS is being the new boogeyman, it's because they can, they can, you know, you know like these people, like with the, what's the name, they look Saeed? Like the Saeed. And, and <laughs> they look like ninjas. It, it, it has no boundaries, you, you know? It's like the South Park episode. Yeah, the South Park episode. <laughs> <laughs> I miss it. I've been, I've been there's, out. <laughs> there, there's, I, there's IS in South Park. This is the kids dressing up as ninjas. So it's, the funniest, yeah. it's the funniest episode I've seen in a while. That's uh, No, don't be. South Park is good. It's Social fun. commentary. The government should be afraid of us. Well, well no. Well, <laughs> well, the government shouldn't exist. When the government's afraid of people, people will disappear. Generally. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. <laughs> so what happened to Matt? No, I'm just saying, <laughs> you, don't want, you don't want them to be afraid of you. It's like, I'm just called back to the home I office. I want them to be afraid. <laughs> I'm mildly irritated that apparently like I need them to be afraid, like like them to be afraid of themselves. That's what I need them to be. And then you take a yeah, long yeah, yeah, look in the mirror like and be like, oh my god, I'm so, a horrifying yeah. human being. But, um, yeah, so I just think And then ISIS, stop. And then stop. Yeah, how do we do that? And I was thinking about that. Because, John, you're, you know, like, you get it stopped. I shouldn't even say who who did this. <laughs> you get stopped by some, by a, a, this perceived authority figure, and you actually talk about how can you sleep at night like how can like literally how can these people do what they do as human beings as our fellow human More beings realism. how can they, they think they're doing how the right can thing? we <laughs> yeah it's because really. they're doing so, good because the society in which they grew up in and you know they're a part of tells them that their their role is a legitimate role even honorable so honorable yeah, but, yeah. But I think there's if good we, guys we get them to question they're the, what they're, they're the good guys yeah little by little i'm sorry I, I think if we get them to question yeah what they're doing just enough yeah. you know just to like uh, you know oh maybe maybe it's not really sometimes, ethical what i'm doing yeah well you know? sometimes it takes, takes a different opinion to really shut right take up what you believe because yeah. when, when, when you're all you're told is all you're given is pat them back and someone yeah someone gives you the finger you're going to question what you're doing yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Maybe not if one person, not but if no, several no. people. Well, not necessarily. Well, no. well, well. Generally, if if everyone pats you on the back, says you're awesome, says you do something amazing, and then people start, you know, giving you the calling you gonna, out. Yeah, like well, I said you're gonna. If you look at what you're doing, sometimes. If you, you look at the most hardcore criminals in prison, they will think that they're awesome, that they're really cool, that they're like going around killing people and like doing whatever mm. stuff that they're doing. That they're just badasses. It's it's so just a on people how people think it's. If they think that, why couldn't a cop or authority figure? It's just, I, you know, people just like to think that whatever they're doing is is good. I asked the cop. Yeah, you know, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. One time I asked the cop why he became a cop. He said, "Cause I was bored." And I'm like, "That's the worst reason to become a cop." <laughs> 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 I had nothing else to do. Thought I'd look good with a badge well, on. At least Why'd you honest. kill all those people? Up? At least he's honest. Yeah, he didn't like give like, some yeah. BS reason. Yeah. Like, honest is good. Honesty is the start. Well, he's like, at least he didn't say like I wanted to 
make it make a positive difference. <laughs> I guess <laughs> like I want the courage to be able to do that. that. In the midst of getting a ticket, after I get the ticket, you know, <laughs> to say something, to have them think. You know, it's just like, I don't know if I could do that. I'm, I'm so petrified that they're going to slap another ticket on me. All right, woman, get out of the car. I'm going to, you, you know, damn. slam well, you to the ways ground. To, there's ways to do it without sounding disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's, Maybe that's, I just fucking disrespect them. It's like, and it's, I, it's and case. they know it, you know? <laughs> it's just a walk around it's fun to disrespect I guess so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, do you but think with, like, okay, thing? what's your guys' opinion on, like, okay, what is, like, the goal of ISIS, and I don't mean like the oh they want to have like an Islamic state. No, 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 no. Like, oh. do you, like what is the like the the whether it be they're directly funded by CIA or they got their start from the CIA and John McCain money or whatever. Um, like, what do you think? Like, what's the what's the deal? What are they trying to do? Is it to get like the the natural gas pipeline built? Is it to get the oil out of the Golan Heights? John was saying something about that earlier. <laughs> Uh, like, what do, you, what do you guys think it's about? Well, like, well, well power, from what I'm hearing, funding is a lot. Well, the funding more. comes from them actually taxing people. Like they, they, they'll go, they go and they'll collect uh, oh, yeah. money okay. from people. The like, kind of like, like, you know. Like surprise, surprise. Yeah, yeah kind of like, yeah, like mafia. Shake them down. Shake them oh. down. Yeah. That's, that's a lot. Like mafia. mafia or any other government. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, or any other government. Right, any I forgot about government. that. Yeah. Um, well, who was saying that, like, ISIS was serving the United States foreign interest in terms of serving as a proxy army to Russia, China, or Syria, and uh, Syria, uh, Russia, Russia and backed. Assad. Yeah, basically, Russia and Assad, and how they're, they're, they want that territory, and so they were using them as a proxy army to basically do operations in that area. It wouldn't be the first time they've done it. Oh, yeah. 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 Destabilize yeah. Assad. So yeah. they could hopefully get out a Western friendly, put in a Western friendly head of state into Syria. Right. What have they tried it before? Have they ever accomplished something like that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. If Saddam Hussein. Has that, has that, ever, has that ever happened? Is this like, what's going on here? Yeah, seems like the same mode of operation. Yeah, you know, if anybody's watching this and they, you know, they haven't really they turn know, on looked into the, the, yeah. the, the, the history of like US foreign policy, like that's not a crazy idea to say that the U.S. government is giving arms and money to a rebel group that has questionable morals. Yeah. Uh, Change a regime. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's happened, South America. It's happened quite frequently, and, you know, like I, I think I mentioned on last week's show, I mean, there's more than one picture of John McCain, like, shaking hands with the guy who's supposed to be running ISIS. Or Back in the, the day. Yeah, it's just, yeah, so, which, again, wasn't even that long ago, like three years ago, right? Hmm. So, well, John, John McCain, he's he's like he's a he's a trip. Yeah, Maybe he's just <laughs> he's a trip. He's a, yeah. uh, you know you know you know that um, in Vietnam they called him a songbird. How's that? Because uh, because he he did, it, the truth was that he was never really tortured. He just he just told the Viet Cong everything. I've I've seen him. Ah. I've like, seen him not be like, able like, to you know, lift he, his he arms though. He broke his legs. He broke his legs from the from the plane crash, mm. and that, that that's what happened to him. And when the Viet Cong captured him, he just said, "Here's everything I know." And like they called him a songbird, mm, the songbird gotcha. of uh, the songbird of something. The but, yeah, Hanoi Hilton, yeah. I think, is where they were having where they were keeping him with the Hanoi Hilton. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, oh. or as they called it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. They, I think another uh, United States uh, goal or goal of ISIS is to strike fear and terror into the hearts of the masses of the United States, and that. You know, this is this is a terrorist uh, threat that can strike the anywhere, hop, hop any, I, I any place, uh, I, I from anyone. I wouldn't go so you far as to say ISIS is uh, controlled. They're directly funded by the United States, but I will say that yes. well, 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 I'm, I they, will they say are directly funded by uh, the U.S. Either well, I, directly I, I, or like, all, directly, all but like not, directly. not not exclusively. But well, yeah, all, go on. All, all I can say for certain. Is that is that the United States is using ISIS to its advantage one way or another? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It appears. You don't think it was like a situation of like, oh, let's fund these guys so that they'll support us, and then these guys were like, oh, now we're gonna we're keep all the money. Well, yeah, that's totally believable. Well, yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 that happens that's, a that's, lot. Yeah. That's, hap- that's happened too. before. It happened like I happened with um. Eighties. Uh, um, mm, talking about con- the, contra. Oh, yeah, the other con- 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 thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the other thing is that there's an old example of like people say like, oh well, 
you know, it's not like, or people don't want to believe that, like, you know, your, your congressmen, your generals will just straight up, you know, bold-faced lie. You know, there's uh, uh, General Alexander, the guy who's running the, the NSA, right? You know, I mean, he bold, bold-faced lies, and they're, they're not collecting yeah, data on Americans than he was. But, but an older example of that is uh, General Ollie North testified before mm-hmm. Congress and said, we are not Colonel. providing Colonel. arms and ammunition to the Colonel? Contra rebels Colonel. in Colonel. South America. Colonel. He was a colonel at the time. He's a general now, right? No. Or former yeah. general. He was no, never kicked out. He never was, he he was, he was yeah. effectively uh, ended uh, out of that trial. He was a colonel. Yeah, but he got his own show on Fox News, man. He missed out. <laughs> you mean, not like a bandit? Yeah. How, how do you feel about colonels, John? Do you like to eat them? <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I don't know. Colonels. Oh. Uh, Speaking of Fox popcorn. News, yeah, popcorn, yeah. <laughs> has anybody else seen that, that Judge Janine chick? Have you ever seen her show at all? The Judge Janine Yeah, I have seen Judge Straight up fascist. Yeah. Like, she might as well be... <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Yeah. She might as well be the dude... Do you remember V for Vendetta, like the newscaster? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. That she, I'm serious, she might as well be that guy. Who is this? Uh, Judge Janine. She's got a show on Fox News, but she's straight up she fascist. Uh, and even yeah, better, because like she does her intro, and there's, strip, and there's like the American flag waving in the background mm-hmm. behind her head, and you're just like, whoa. Yeah. Wow, uh, you know. Coming from Fox News, it's not too surprising. Oh, yeah, no, that's not surprising at all, but it's, a, you know, if you haven't... That's a liberal <laughs> channel, isn't it? If you haven't watched that channel in a while, and that's your first show that you see on there, and, like, you know, okay. not touching it for eight years, so you're like, holy I, fuck. I have you a know? question. That's for new, newly... Uh, Citizens, new citizens, yeah. Yeah. naturalized so, citizens. So well, there's all this talk about, you know, Turkey shot down Russia's uh, oh, yeah. uh, military, what was it? It was a jet. Yeah, it was a bomber, I think. Mm-hmm. And so, Except for it wasn't in their space and they shot it down. It wasn't, because that's yeah. what I heard. Well, I, heard yeah. uh, I heard a bunch, a bunch of physicists, um, they, they, they found out that both Iran, uh, both a... Uh, both Turkey and Russia were lying about what happened during the jet. Um, I forgot the circumstances of it. I can show you guys sometime. But basically, the jet, the, 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 they, they were both lying about what happened to the jet. They both told half truths. Mm. Imagine it, it was, that governments telling oh, okay. lies and half truths. <laughs> they were both they were both about lying it. to each other. You don't say. <laughs> like like the um, yeah. Because I hear what is it NATO or someone declared a no fly zone. Over Turkey, and then Russia was like, "We don't give a fuck." <laughs> and then and and Russia's then, like, "What NATO?" Yeah, yeah. No, they did. Whatever. They did. From what I understand, they did fly over Turkish airspace, but it's for like two minutes. Mm-hmm. And seventeen two seconds. seconds. Yeah, it was seventeen yeah. seconds. Yeah. Seventeen seconds. Okay. <laughs> Comically short period of time, which they had, then had time to scramble jets and then shoot it down. Right. 17 seconds. Yeah, okay. There, there's a story that one of their... No, and, and warn them 10 times. Yes, and warn them 10 times. 17 <laughs> seconds? That's 17 not seconds. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, sounds like such a... Shoot them! <laughs> <laughs> sounds like quite the feat, man. No, but, but first basically later. what I've heard is that they shot it down because they were bombing the oil rigs going from ISIS to Turkey. Mm. Oh. oh yeah, and the pres the president's son of uh, the, the son of the president of Turkey, he's uh, it's it's kinda coming out, you know, as we speak of like he's more or less he's selling oil he's getting from ISIS. Mm. And that's kind of a big deal, like the, the son of the president of Turkey is yeah. Doing deals with yeah, uh, so. So. The big bad boogeyman. So Putin said he had proof, and then uh, Erdogan, how you pronounce his name, said, "If you have proof, then I'll resign." Right? So, yeah. That's where that goes. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't really trust anything Putin says. Like, he's just, I don't know, he's 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 KGB. I mean, well, yeah. I mean, you can't trust the red commies. <laughs> he's got he's got a lot of he's got a lot of money, what and he's people. like built like this like. On the other hand, Versailles he was KGB, so maybe we do know it. Yeah. Uh, at least he, I'm sure he knows what he's talking about. Whether what he when says he is true does right, not yeah. is yeah. another thing. What is KGB? I should, I should it, it, it's the it's Russian CIA. CIA. The Russian CIA. Essentially, yeah. 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 Okay, that's what I. That's what I was kind of inferring from what I've heard about it. But I, I didn't know, actually know. Sorry. No, that's all right. I, I should throw in a story before we run out of time. Yeah. When I was working in Hollywood, in uh, as a background actor, a guy came up to me. And he's telling me, he's advocating ISIS. He's telling me how 
the reason why the price of oil is so low mm -hmm. is because ISIS has gotten all this oil. They're just selling all the oil. On oh, yeah, I, I totally believe that. That's a possibility. Oh, yeah. And he's saying, like, how the army is uh, off the U.S. military offers people, like, $50,000 or a year to, to, uh, to join them. He says ISIS will offer you, like, a billion dollars over mm. a lifetime. Good love, that's a lot of money. And... You know, after, uh, honestly, afterwards, I was like, huh. It's <laughs> 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 a lot better than union wages, you know, shit. Me, me yeah, better yeah. than the army. Yeah. <laughs> me was changing the light bulb in one of the lights, and he's like, you know what? If I see the check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Dear God. But, <laughs> yeah, I, it kind of makes you wonder. So, like, you know, Putin's involved in this whole thing, and he's got this palace that he's built out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, he's got a lot of money and a lot of time on his hands. I mean, do you, does Putin look to you like like he's the sort of guy that like might have sex with like an android or something? Totally like, he, he looks like the kind of guy that would have sex with a lot of. I don't even know what that kind of person would look androids. like. Androids. Uh, you know what I'm why saying? Why are we talking like, about this all of a sudden? I I don't I I don't. I just why are we talking about there. android sex? Yeah. So well, like us. we can continue, but I think we're running out of time oh, yeah. Yeah. to talk about robot yeah. sex later. That was on quick. A, in a future, <laughs> <effort>, in a <laughs> future <laughs> episode, for sure. So we have robots. They go quick. All right. Good night. Have a good night, everybody.